You talked about data being critical for to understand what the customers want. I learned that there's like a consensus among the product leaders that customer feedback is often skewed or biased. Concepts such as vocal minority selection bias, expectation fallacies are cited. Can you provide some color to this? I've always thought about customer feedback as the end all be all. Hey, the customer said this, so let's go. I do a survey and then customer said this, let's go do that. So it kind of changed my perspective that, hey, maybe customers only, customer feedback is only as good as the questions you're asking or the survey you're putting out. So can you talk about how to get customer feedback without really asking them for fee feedback, I guess? Mm -hmm. it, it's, a, it's a really good one. And, and, and I think we all feel now that we're in a world that, you know, we, as soon as we do something, whether it's, um, you know, we stay at a hotel or we go to a restaurant or we, we, we go out to, to see some culture or something, we always get hit up with, with, with feedback surveys. It, it, it seems to be a recurring thing that, you know, almost every day I, I delete the feedback from whatever thing I did yesterday, whether it was going to the grocery store or, you know, that we, we get asked for feedback so many times with these surveys that, that we are moving to a point where the people who probably fill those out are are more extreme outliers where you know you either generally you have something bad to say or or you know you may be the other camp or you've had such a great experience that it's amazing and it, and it, it you you you're really focusing on that that explicit feedback that you're gathering is kind of focusing on those 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 tales um of your of your customers and 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 you don't really know where the the middle group is um so although the feedback surveys do provide some indicators, they can't be seen as gospel because of, as, as you said, you know, there, there's the challenge around collection, there's the challenge around a survey bias, there's challenges around, you know, making sure that you're getting a, a representative sample. Uh, the, the, I, th I think one of the things that is, is important when, when you're gathering data from customers is gathering, making sure you're gathering both explicit and implicit feedback. So, so combining those um, uh, qualitative surveys and other kind of qualitative data gathering, uh, it is it is very useful to get a pulse check on your customers. It's very useful to see what they're calling out and if they're calling out specific things that you need to take action on in in a survey. But but making sure you're combining that qualitative feedback with quantitative feedback through measuring the, the customer journey and um, and measuring the um, the thing me measuring the, the the interactions of the customer with your product, uh, and really saying, okay, on you know, what are what are the things that I want my uh, the ex the the action I want my customers to take, or I need my customers to take, to to, to see whether my business is for the product is forming successfully and the business is doing successfully, and 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 how what proportion of my customer base is actually doing those things, um, and, and 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 looking at the customer journey end to end in a way that you can understand um, which which those customers, how are those customers interacting with my business and what, across which touch points and how are they using the product? Uh, and then, you know, correlating that information with the, uh, you know, customer customer um, life lifetimes over time and, and customer outcomes in more of a much bigger picture to really understand, you know, are we doing the right things that make our customers stay longer and, and improve the health of the business? I think you, you were doing some fantastic work uh, on that uh, at Legal Shield around really understanding, you know, what are the interactions that customers are doing with the with the product and 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 you know how are they interacting with the service and how does that actually affect the, their their life their their customer lifetime? Um, and one of the cool things is that when you get into more quantitative data, as I'm, I'm sure you, you you found, it is that you really start to understand what are the how do the different types of customers uh, interact with the business, and how can I make sure I'm serving properly the the different customer groups I'm I'm getting in the door, and and 
and and some of that may mean that you have to you know embrace some customer groups more some customer groups you may say actually we're not going to do a good job we're not going to be able to do the best job serving these customers so we're going to move away from marketing to them uh, and actually move into other customer segments or or we're going to improve the customer the product to meet the customer's needs